The floor is open. Good afternoon. Um, I just want to say to you that God said, fear not, for I am with you. And if you trouble them, you trouble me. Um, I sometimes feel a little down when I come and hear what's happening, um, what the market is showing, so on and so forth. And it is sad that we have come to this stage in our business. I never thought that I would live to see what is happening in terms of we hear about more country being sold out and so on. And it hurts to think that, how could put it? I know it doesn't matter how much you me my do somehow I don't feel it, it does not affect me. I don't see her making changes or whatever, and I think she doesn't care. No, I think I know she don't care. And I, I heard something on the van, and the, um, I think my mama said it, and it, it kind of like upset me a bit. I hear said that, you know, it's not for the double one, and it's for us. No, it's for the double, whatever happens when the double is again, we go them in. Not me, we will go to them in. And everything that happens, we have to go to them. So no one said we can't get what we're going to fix it. We cannot fix it. They have the victory of people marching in and they know what we want. And we know what we want. And that's what we have to do. And I admire Marcia and my words going on, but somehow I think that we need to take this further. We need to take it there internationally. I don't know how, but somehow we need to. Because when we do the marching with the Quran, when we see some of the same people, we get to the a lot of them, but they some still have this motley fever. So they still have it. And I know, I know some people talking about the party, but I remember years ago on the Tom Madams. I remember when he said that fridges and gas stores was luxury, and a lot of us had to pay half the price to get one. He said that put taxes on everything. But well, you know, I'm not coming here about politics. But when they think about media, she just does not. I don't want to use the word care. I don't want to achieve what it means to care. But I just wish and I'm hoping and I'm praying that we can at least get to the international media. I'm hoping. Because it, it, it is, you know, I, I, I feel sick about it, especially here for how bad they've been sold out. The money she's borrowing, the hospital, and what is going on. Are we out here doing our best every time? It's not the numbers. It's not the numbers. It's not the numbers. Because that God is for you, no one can be against you. Jesus Christ, a lot of people follow him, but at the end of the day, he wouldn't have 12. He wouldn't have 12 disciples. And then when he was ready, he chose Saul who became Paul, and he went through all the work. So I have not the numbers. He had not had a lot of. Then he does that only had a small amount. We got a large army, and what happened? This army was defeated. So Mother got all the people behind. Eventually, she's going to fall. But God said, "I will touch them. You touch me." So that's why I have to say thank you. Good morning to everyone. Oh, good afternoon. Sorry. Okay. We have to stay firm, stay steady, stay focused because the devil is at hand. And he's doing his work. This is just a small scripture that I have to leave with you guys. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but be over but let good overcome the evil. Thank you. I have come out of Panama. I am Barbadian. I am the ex-vice chair of the paramedic council in the ministry of health under the right honorable Donville Ennis, the best minister of health we ever, ever had. Now, in Panama, if you don't know it, for three months, from September through to November the 20th, the Panamanians took to the streets. The young old, mostly students actually from the campuses. And what they were voting for was the getting rid of the president and the vice president. Because what they had done is taken a deal under the carpet with the Chinese and the Canadians to mine on the water table and the tables of where grows all the food in Panama. 
We marched and marched and marched. Not only did we march, we filled up a square that is equally a hundred times probably the size of this square in Barbados. Tens of thousands of people. And we never stopped. Not tear gas, not rocks, not bullets stopped any of us. We march and march and march to the Supreme Court on the 16th, sorry, on the 20th of November. Went back into sittings for six days where they decided what the, pre what the president and vice president had done was underhanded, unconstitutional, and they put them out and Panama had an election on May the 6th this year and we have a new president. Many people take to do this work Many, many people, and unfortunately for Panama and us, and I'm here with a walking stick to prove part of it, there were insurgents that came from Venezuela and Cuba and other places that came into the peaceful protest and gave us help. And then the police used to use tear gas, the army, everything, tear gas, bullets, and rocks. And therefore, there was unrest in places like Colón, which is the part and parcel where you all get your goods from the Panama Canal. And what happened in Cologne was that they rose up and they used katanas, they used everything that they could put their hand on and there was enough bloodshed. In the midst of all of this, down in Bocas, which is where the vast majority of the agents come from, they then had road path blocks. And an American tourist at the age of 67, he said he didn't like it, so he out a gun and shoot two the protesters dead. As a matter of fact, he know in jail, maybe rotten in Panama, could have not know much about him, but then served the rest of his life in a jail. Now, to say that we had problems because the outer regions like uh, Chique, Chiquera and uh, Bocas and also Boquete had no food. They were getting low on everything. In Panama City and old Panama, we were okay. But we had to watch where we were going because we were targeted. I was targeted for God's sake. I slept on the streets in Panama. Yes, you are blessed by the Almighty and come here to see Viva Barbados! Long live Barbados. All right, now, you are marching on a Saturday. Darling, sweethearts, we march every day from 4 in the evening to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the next morning. And we march and march and march and march and not. And some of us were in hiding and took a chance to come out like me. Took a chance to come out. El Jefe of the movement, which means the boss of the movement. Something like Marcia Alferdi. He used to protect the people that couldn't protect themselves when the march was coming up. He would take all the yellow taxis and flood them into the city, pay it out of his own pocket to get them off the streets before the protest started. And it was not called a protest as such, it was not called a march, it was called as protestations, which is protest, protest and protest and protest. And it was like a mini carnival in the square. Motorcycles, the, the native Panamanians dancing, the native stuff, tuck band, you name it, it was there. And they listened. They had no choice because if they didn't put the Supreme Court back to discuss what I had to do, we would have keep marching. And then nobody would have had food. Panama would have get shut down. And the poor, oh dear, well, there would have been no goods coming through. And as it was, we had had no rain. So the goods was getting stopped anyhow. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you don't tire. You do not tire. In God, we trust. And in God, we move forth. And with the help of Marcia Weeks, and people like Dr. Ferdinand Nichols and my big mouth that you hear calling you should have eaten. We are going to do it. Mia must go. A blessing good afternoon to all. I've been observing a lot of things when I come out to the march. And I see a lot of changes. And some of you may have seen those changes also. But those changes tell me something. We may be in a corner, but we are not cornered. You listen to me? We may be put in a corner, but we are not cornered. We may be persecuted but we are being perfected 
We may be cast down, but we are not destroyed. Those of you who know who I'm talking about. I believe that we are being placed in a position of preparation. And I always look at things, or try to look at things in a different perspective. Look at the few that God has used to confuse the wise. Even today I believe there's a set of people who are confused about the alphabet. <laughs> All the millions of people that we see today came through a man and a woman. Does that tell you something? Not two men or two women, but a man and a woman. And people will want to tell me that I'm crazy for speaking the truth. For crazy, being crazy, for speaking the obvious. Well, this is the obvious this afternoon. We may be put in a corner, but we are not cornered. And we will still continue to speak what we know we should speak. So I want to encourage every one of you, we may be cast down, but we are not destroyed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I myself have been coming to the marches every Saturday, and last night I got home after midnight. And I wasn't feeling well because I even told my husband I, my head is feeling light and I drank some ginger tea and with some garlic in it. I wasn't feeling well this morning either but I, I gathered the strength because I get a lot of strength from everybody here. So I thank you all today for keep coming on, keep, keep coming, don't, keep, don't give up. I thank Dave Weeks. I thank the whole team that it, it looks like nothing is going on but a lot is going on. Okay, so don't feel discouraged. I, I invited my friend um, Janice, she and I worked together for over, like, I knew Janice for about 30 years and she started coming to the marches, so Janice can come and speak to you I'd also like to thank Keith, my husband, for all that he does to support me. Thank you, Keith. And thank you, Marcy Reese. Contingent, continue the hard work. It will not fail. We have won already, actually. The victory, we have already won, okay? what is going wrong and would like to have them co have whatever is going wrong corrected. The numbers might be small but as we continue, believe you me, you get the support. I'm sure you see it on the road and hear it on the road. Um, when I, I don't like anybody to ask me to speak or sometimes when I start I don't stop. <laughs> With both governments, right, I find there are three things that neither of them have got right, not up to now. That is the court, and I can speak to that extensively. The QEH, and I can also speak to that extensively. And the transport board, all three I can speak to, and I don't want to have a fourth thing. So when we get over this cyber bill, like Thierry said some time ago, we now have to march because there are lots of things that are wrong and lots of things that could be done better. I hope that we keep as a group. I mentioned to Marcia not long ago that, you know, things are really rough in Barbados. So every week, everybody might not be able to contribute. I did tell her this, but I'm saying that now. But I suggested to her that we can probably organize a market day and probably go in each parish with it. As she rightly said, she cannot take any more, she's tired. But I didn't mean like for her to do it. So if some of us can get together and organize something like that, even if it is next year, Boston, because we are into the rainy season, or we may be able to get in one around Christmas time. With that, I will shut up. I hope that we can go. 
keep going and go from strength to strength. Thank you. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. But well, first of all, let me uh, let me ask you to give yourselves a big round of applause for, for turning up as quickly, faithfully every week. You know, I know that we've got things to do. Most of us have things to do on a Saturday, and we sacrifice this couple of hours to come and make our stand. I myself try to walk at home. I got the problems, so you know, you see problem. Anyway. People, this bare foolishness. This is like you gotta adjust your brain to deal with what these people trying to do because it is a is a form of tyrannical madness, right? And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I got a, I got a good feeling that they have more to lose, but not passing it than passing it. Repetitions to protect people to protect. And they have not to lose by passing it, right? So be prepared for whatever the outcome may be. But again, I was saying to myself, it might be a good thing if they do pass it. To finally wake up the masses. Let them see what it is that they're dealing with. Because don't forget, you know, when, when we change the government, we can always repeal this. But they would have shown their true, true colors in passing it. You know, so don't give up hope. You may lose the first battle, but the war is still to be had. God bless people. Good day, everyone. So I'm here to say none of us truly, well, not none of us, none of you truly know what God looks like. Because God can come in any form as a beggar, as a loiterer. He didn't even come as a thief because everything belongs to God, right? So when God puts his people to speak and they're ignored, God has reason to, to react. And none of us truly know what his children look like. We don't have to share our actual names because we do have names that our other parents have given us as well. But nonetheless, we identify as God's children. The truth about the Bible isn't always pretty. The Bible could be an ugly place too. Because a war with the Father don't look like rainbows and sunshine and butterflies. The big problem is craft. I know. Even in our anthem, our pledge, they tell us about the guardians and the craftsmen. But how much do we all know about the guardians when it seems like everybody believes more in craft? No. Days on days, I had encounters with God. Well, everybody lied. Because should I eat the fat lambs or the, the meat of the bulls? Or drink the wine of princes? That being said, the entire universe belongs to God. And if God has to come off his throne to pull sirens from the sea and anakis from the sky, believers from in crippled tears to stand up, then you know somebody mess up. But how far a mess up is mess up. Now everybody in this world deserves to eat. But they should be careful what they're being fed. Because sometimes people could be fed a bunch of crap. I'm gonna believe it anyway. If the crop they're being fed is being fed by the highest. No, no one could tell God who to speak through. And we would like to blame it all on the media and social media, but what if God giving the ideas to the people on the media to, to prove that he is here fighting? 
And what are people ignoring the fact that God poisoning just because they see it on media? There's a world that consists of things that people cannot explain. There are goddesses, gods, demigods, all kinds of different things that people will see and can't explain. It really doesn't mean that they don't exist. Instead of judging things that you see, maybe get understanding, and with understanding, get wisdom. Because leaning to your own understanding could cause more problems. Um, usually the people we look down on are the ones that God chose. And you will never know who God chose if you don't give them a chance. Right? Because everybody deserves a chance. Everybody don't think that everybody deserves a chance. Because sometimes this world could be an unfair world. And money does talk. Money does talk big time. So you will find the small person or the big person being oppressed because somebody bigger and got more money. So money more rule in the world than the concept that God wants to run the world. And it's not everything that you see that you can explain or understand. But again, it does not mean that these things doesn't exist. Instead of judging one another for things like who's a Muslim or who's of whatever religion because God never really made religion he made spirituality and with spirituality each religion ran with their own belief according to which angels or deities they encountered what would have been one book has been split into many books. Earth, wind, fire, water was all created as one. Mankind was who decided to separate the concepts. I mean, it could be because of the language barrier when we tried to build it. A lot of if anybody remember. But nonetheless, it doesn't change the fact that as soon as the truth is being spoken, everyone wants it to come down. Or to shut off. Or to be put up as an art piece. But the truth is the truth. And that's something you can't get away from. And when God's children show themselves, or Jesus' children show themselves, say, hey, check me the safe in the real to life. And people still refuse to accept the truth as the truth. And where does that leave us as the people of God? And that's all I have to say. I want me to sing. Anyhow, I know a lot of songs. I ain't know which one to sing. Anyhow, good afternoon, people. Good afternoon, Bob Good afternoon. Well, I like this crown. It may be small, but it have a purpose. You understand? We've been marching, and this movement have been moving around Bob because of this cyber crime bill, which comes here to destroy people like us. Most of you ain't got seventy thousand dollars. And most of us here in about seven years. So, you see me, she, she gonna be thinking this thing. The people are there, they may not be here, because they're listening to us, you know what I'm saying? They listen to the Master Week show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, is? Yeah. 
Sunday. What people? F. Oh, this is not going here. This is just a little problem here. But we're gonna see tomorrow. Okay. We're gonna see tomorrow. Uh, here this thing works. Man, that will jump here. That will reach here. She will want to know anything going on. You understand what I'm talking about? What I know, man, for me, some of them know me, but you see me ring for social media. I got a little tune in the bus because I think uh, it looks awful. Let's so collect some of them there. I, this message is really for me, though, right? I want to know, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know Why this woman treating me so? <laughs> tell me, woman come tell me Why you mashing up all the poor? I want to know, I want to know, I want to know Food prices high The gas gone up, the gas gone up, the gas gone up Everything in this place them corrupt, corrupt I say corrupt my baby gonna ask you once more. Let me know, let me know. Me and I for you. You know what I'm talking about? God, you want the people go here and they Some of them are so scared to come over here. But all right, we can see them tomorrow. Never do that lick open, and lick that lick the light. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? Anyhow. The agents, we here to push back this thing. It's all about this side, but quite This thing can't get passed over here. Who will agree with me that we got an illegal government? Who will agree with me that we have an illegal government? Yeah. We got a government, right? That we tore off billions of dollars for the upper class. When we, I personally was asking them to write off the water bill for the poor people. And then fear not to write off the water bill. We got so much illegal things to speak about. So many. Well, look at he even helped me because we don't, we don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? saying? The survey in school. Not illegal. They should have to be tolerated. You know what I'm saying? This government got this place in a mess. Right now, every time I go to book my business, all you see is right. I have a choice, but I'm already sure. Yeah, I'm not going to stand for danger, but I stand for danger. You know what I'm saying? But the agents, we got to push this thing back. Furthermore, as I say, if not for me, right now, the bill can pause, no? It can pause because of me. You know what I'm saying? And we is who going to push it back. We is who going to push it back. It can't come for it. As she went for it, she make it. She ain't got, she just a damn man up in North Korea. I can't remember you near. Hey yo, near? Oh yo, there. Blessings and good evening. Good evening. What I wish to speak to you about further and very briefly here this evening is about you. About yourself. I want to know what kind of image you have of yourself. Do you really like yourselves? There are too many people in Barbados who despise themselves and their dislike of themselves reflects in their dislike of other people. Now based on the longest reference I have of the mirror image speech, this is how my wrong started it. And this is the Right Honorable Late Earl Walton by our Father of Independence. And so this piece is a reflection on that and the reflection of the nation as it stands. That being said, was the mirror image reflected in the state of the nation and in the eyes of the people, not the navigation system of a political party. Notice it said the navigation system and not the vehicle. We just support the campaigning by wagons and expect them to take us anywhere other than wear suit them and be. And when we ain't even too sure sometimes where we try to get, the way I see it, just like my guy Thierry Giddens once said, we want to progress. Until we free from political dependency, DLP, BLP, FLP, because why the France, it matter who helped me. Yes, we all need help. A support system and a community, but to integrate into that there healthily, we got to start saying, let me help me. We just look for politicians sometimes to do too much of what them ain't to be doing. I was talking to a gentleman the other day and he said, all the government gonna do is show we them brain. And then it's up to we to see if we think them got what it takes that will hold their end. Well, we do our part to uphold our part and put presence to money to the problems plaguing the nation and pen to paper in ways of wisdom, not a wistful wishing but purposeful planning. And understand what we want. So when they flaunt all the promises, we'll be able to see through the disguises and maybe then we will see more beneficial policies landed for consideration and maybe we would even then get to see some implementation. Let me touch quickly on economic diversification. 
you know, according to the GIS, Barora helped to spearhead the tourism industry, but that doesn't mean we need to do nothing else. We forget how we come through the big chief with the guaranteed wages for agricultural workers because he saw something there. But these days we got shortcuts, cause we got poor management calling shots for random culling of black belly sheep messing up the breed, but apparently they want a million black belly sheep in the island. Yet the population dropping. See, there's more support for agriculture in mouth, more so than in action. And I hear that from many factions of the agricultural sector. Same true in many other areas. You know how Japan is keep things tight with Wagyu? Wagyu well, is a particular type of meat special to them. They've got the market locked down, breeding locked down, quality locked down, market locked down. And I know lockdown may bring back some bad memories of COVID and quarantine and things, but we need to get it together and lock it down. Agriculture aside, we also lack the opportunities for people that can work to develop themselves in the arts, in sports, in technology, in science, math, medicine, history, all productive enterprises. The list goes on. It's very hard to find jobs in this country coming out of UE and all kind of areas of study. That's why it got very drained, but I can pause and I'll refrain. Too much restrictions that make it harder to contribute to this country sustainably. We gotta make something work, man. We gotta make something work so that people can get some work. But we gotta be smart about it. Because when the agendas of the few in power don't reflect the desires of the people, before we blame them, we gotta blame ourselves. Because we just put them there. We got picked text from nonsense when the politicians started coming around the neighborhood talking, talking, and you ain't seen nothing happening from them since last year, the season. What's the reason? Ask yourself serious questions. Be free from monarchy. So questions, questioning these people and these potential leaders is not treason. Ain't no reason not to. But then we want to say fast and write this in here. So best believe I can let my tongue loose and let lamb be the funny and let it raise the alarm so loud. They want to know if I insane. It's some kind of obsession in my brain. But if I try to point out what's there, that I just try to point out that where there's smoke, there's bound to be, there's bound to be in the future, or there's bound to have big flames. But instead of investigating the issues at hand, they would probably want to frame it as pyromania. Frame it as I want to see it all burn because of the attention I try to bring to the flickering. But like a movie stage, they want to fix the scene to smoke screens, dealing cloak and dagger telling combo stories, smoke and mirrors, and let it play out to suit them. But let us suit them. And let me think, but we'll suit we. But anyway, like Barrow said, ladies and gentlemen, again. <laughs>